going on everybody welcome to the white day podcast white day wednesday happy white day wednesday everybody i got my my man uh <laughs> markel mandre and hey, yo, Mata, you're not recording yet i am oh shoot on this one man hey man hey good hey, 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 good hey, good uh <laughs> good, good. i gotta thank you yeah yeah you good. Right. You. yeah you're good you're good <laughs> so i'll I'm say this again welcome to the white day podcast happy white day wednesday guys thank you for letting me know thank you uh, I got my cell phone here. I got uh, Alpha Monk, Red Pill, and Shirley on here. Um, we are going to talk about red flags and green flags. So, you guys already know before we get into it, we're going to talk about the last episode. So, anything you guys want to add is talk about holding space. So, you guys say it for like quick 10 seconds, 10 minutes. What you guys want to add on there from the last episode, you guys know. Nothing. <laughs> it was yeah, it was an interesting know. episode. I I definitely had a different perspective on what I was imagining was going to happen. Um, we talked about there were so many different definitions of that. So you know, it it, it was good. It was good. I mean, I liked it. Uh, but this one is going to be interesting because we did talk about red flags a couple episodes ago. So this time it's going to be a little bit more different. I think we're talking about our red flags. Is that what is that what we all agreed on? Are we just talking? Okay, all right. Yeah. Shit. Oh man. <laughs> I think before we talk about our red flags, we should try and guess the everyone else's red flags. Oh. I would love to hear. <laughs> so we have like right. Buzzword. Guess Alpha Monk's red flags. We'll have Andrew really trying to guess my red flags. Buzzword is toxic. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite word! Okay. Buzzword is toxic. Okay. Yeah, I can go past okay. that. Okay. Yeah. E. Aim on. Okay. <laughs> Just so you guys know, if you don't know what buzzwords are, buzzwords are words that we say that's in our episode, and then we get on the hot seat, which asks personal questions, deep personal questions. <laughs> Stephanie just said in bay. She's, Stephanie's on, just so you know. <laughs> hey, hold on. Stephanie's listening? She's What's on. What's that reading? Huh? Email Dante. Message Dante your email. You should be on this episode with us. Red flag? <laughs> oh. Okay. You should join the... I mean, why not? <laughs> that was smooth. This guy, You should join the with us. We'll put her on her post episode if she wants to hop on. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> this man. Damn. Finally yeah. shooting the shot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, hey, I'm just oh, oh man, why y'all put him on blast? <laughs> <laughs> put she, that man on blast. That's she said, ha ha, I got you. She said, I got you. As he said in the comment. Oh. Oh. All right. So why dates also known for matchmakers? Just so you guys <laughs> We do that on the side, just so you guys know. She said just for you, though, and carts for you. Ooh. Oh. Do it, do it. Dang, I'm going to like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you? <laughs> All right. But, right here, you guys can't see it. So let's, first, before we go into the red flags, man, let's talk about the definition of red flags. Because everyone's definition seems to be a little different. I think people get inconvenience mixed up with red flags. So red pill. All right. Uh, Break it down. Any trait of a person that might make you reconsider dating them is a red flag. Okay. I think it's a very subjective thing. There are ones that we generally agree on, but I think it's very subjective. Like it's your yeah. opinion. Like farting in bed. That's like kind of a inconvenience. Or is jumping. A, Both jumping. <laughs> you know, or burping or if you're talking too much. You just <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is that known as a red flag or is it just inconvenience? <laughs> it's a kink to some people. Okay, so. true. All right, so it's not it's not a bad thing. It's not like a. Oh, that's it. That's that's done. Don't deal. do it to me. It's a bad okay, thing. It's okay. red flag. Don't judge it? me. It's a big red flag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, man, it, it's happened. <laughs> it's happened. To you? No, I mean, yeah. Not, I mean, they probably won't know that. <laughs> it's it's mm. you know it's it's a natural body function, man. You can't control that. Uh, <laughs> so, Alpha, what's your what's your definition of red flag? I mean, to be honest, it's the same as yours. It's pretty much things you see up front you know pretty much within the first couple of weeks or a couple of dates 
Right. It's, um, you know, traits and behaviors, personality behaviors that just don't vibe with you. And, you know, it has to be a red, for me, it has to be a red flag that won't make me pursue her anymore. Like, it's something that I don't think that will change and it'll just continue to bother me. And, you know, I just don't want to be in that type of relationship. So, if so for has, you, it's like the only red flags you consider are like just major deal breakers. Yeah, I mean, if it's something like a small behavior that she got from like her past relationship or something that could be worked on right. that would help her progress as a person, then I'm all for it, you know, because in a relationship, you're supposed to grow, right? So those type of things, you know, I can kind of look past, you know, uh, but I mean, I want a feminine chick and I want a girl who's clean and, and very good at hygiene. So if she breaks some of those like right off the back, then it's a, it's a straight up no. Like, right, you know, like you know, nail biters, shit like that. That shit, it's it's that's some of those hard ones. Now, hold on, man. Let, let's take a step back, man. You outside my roof, man. I'm just like, kind of looking at that, man. Like, it's <laughs> you're outside nature right now. I'm just I'm, I'm just throwing off, man. You're the only one that's outside, man. We're sitting there. Oh man. <laughs> so you know, I'll go inside. I'll go no, inside. It's, you're good. You're good. We just want to see the beautiful right. like background. Yeah, we're flexed, but okay. Yeah. Alpha Monk, we're flex, but okay. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Don't you need to go inside. All right, all right. I'm cool. I'm cool. All right, you're good. We just want to see the background. That's good. All right. There you go. There you go. Um, and Shirley. Yeah, I agree with you guys both. But for me, a major red flag is anything that makes me feel like less than. Do you know what I mean? Like any where that like makes me question myself. Like if you're. Oh. Um, I don't know, like, if anything, anything that, like, triggers, like, making me feel more like a girl instead of, like, a woman who's, like, in charge of herself, I'm probably dealing with the red flag, right? So, like... So it's not uh, so much a character trait about him, but it's how, how that character trait makes you feel. Exactly. Like, um, okay. Exactly. So if it makes me feel insecure, if it's starting to make me feel like I'm, a, like I'm not in control of myself... Right. Uh, that whole that whole situation is a red flag. Isn't that more yeah. on you though than the person? Yeah, I, I, I guess so. But it's like certain people just make me feel more at peace. You know what I mean? I feel that. Okay. Some people make me feel like inspired to improve, and then some people just make me feel like uh, a piece, like just not good about myself. Like I don't feel like I'm like I'm elevating in any way. And if I'm around that type of person, then they have probably have some type of quality that's like triggering something within me, and that's like I need to, I need to probably take a step back. Uh, but yeah, it's very it's very self directed. It's not really what they have. It's more like how do I feel around you? Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Someone yeah. commented. What about subjectively though? Like you know, like uh, exterior things, superficial things. Oh, okay. Like red flags, like superficial yeah. things. Um, that goes for all of you too. Like superficial red flags. What do you have? All right, so we're just going to it. What, what we're looking for? Like if we see this red flag, or about ourselves? Yeah. That's uh, if you see the red flag on somebody else. Oh man, I would say one that I look for that I can legitimately look past. If the person has enough, like good to go signs, uh, green flags. Green flags, yeah. Are we talking about green flags already or are we doing red much. flags? If she just complains too much off the bat, that's okay. a big one. If she's complaining too much off the bat about things that are very much in her control, that's one where, like, I might look past that if I can get her to stop doing that, right? Maybe that's just the way she communicates because all her friends are girls. All they do is complain together. The ones <laughs> that show her that we can have conversations that don't involve complaining. Yeah. If yeah. she's willing to follow that lead, if I can look past that. No problem. Yeah, I respect Or I can say, like, Anything she can change in like ten minutes or less, right? Yeah. Let's say I'm just really not vibing. Say she has like really, really like long clicky clacky nails. <laughs> I don't like that at all. But mm-hmm. she can always have her move, you know. I can always influence her to try for na- a natural hairstyle or a new nail style, right? Or if she's wearing just a ton of makeup, she would wipe that off, you know. These small things that I can look past if I think I can influence that behavior. All right. Yeah, I I totally agree. If it's something that can be improved upon, like that's that's a doable. But for minimal me, minimal effort, you know. Yeah, for me, like a red flag is like uh, being. I absolutely hate when a dude like texts me, "What are you doing?" Forty five times in a fucking row. That shit drives me insane. I mean, you like only do it forty four times. 
I hate it. Well, 44 is the cap, you guys. If you're listening to this, if you want to get an answer, it'll be 44 is the cap. <laughs> right, no. Anything more than, like, three texts in a row, I'm probably not going to reply. I just, I don't like being checked up on in a way that makes me feel like I'm, like, talking to my dad. I don't know. Yeah. Does that make sense? It makes sense. I mean, just like we were talking about earlier in the, uh, oh. <laughs> the chat room, <laughs> how you guys, like, you like the devil. You like the asshole. So, yes. like, you know, a, you text a guy and he takes forever in the day. You're pissed off at him. But the moment you see that text, you know, yeah, it just fires way. shit up. Yeah. Yep. So exactly. it's like, it, you know, the right dudes know how to do it. And, then, you know, yeah. the other ones don't. Yeah. So, like, if he shows any signs of, like, not really having his own shit going on, and that can be, like, constant texting or, like, calling when i'm like like in the middle of my day or some shit like that where we haven't agreed for us to meet like yeah that shit so you can agree that women should not be a man's first priority uh, okay yeah, let's try, let's be honest be honest oh shit be honest oh uh, can i agree with that yeah i guess yeah to an extent uh, overtly not overtly. We know you agree with it. We, you know and know it's true. You don't have to say it. We just know you know it's true. Yes. yes. I you. wasn't sure if it was posted into the group chat or something that I saw on Reddit. Where it was like, girls don't want a good man. Girls want a guy who's good at being a man. Ooh, yes. I love that shit. Yeah. I got sent to the group chat or if that was... Was that you who sent it? No. Wow. But I wish I did. I saw it on Reddit then. All right. wow. Someone must have did it. <laughs> in our, in our, in our, our pool of stuff on our on our group chats yeah, just, <laughs> the sheer amount of somewhere in the archives yeah, somewhere uh, it gets down in the group chats it gets down yeah, it gets down hey we, honestly i feel like open it up to everybody just to listen i was just telling this earlier i'm like you know what man that'd be some entertainment for people just go on our <laughs> group chats i just you know post some of the uh the chats we have on there yeah like screenshots oh, on my day screenshots them, yeah. okay yeah that's a good one <laughs> I agree. Okay, I might do that. I might have to do something for the people. Just you know, just to see the conversations go. Um, yeah. I think for me, for the red flag would be is uh, hum- since humor is a big thing in me. Uh, if they take these too serious and just get like pissed off, argh, argh, like it just, it just kind of yeah. just. I, I like to just like mess around and troll sometimes. If they understand that kind of sense of humor, that's cool. But if they're like too serious, it's just like yo, <laughs> I can't have fun. I can't have fun. Like, I want to enjoy doing things with people. I like to have fun and stuff, but if you're just too serious all day, it's just like, yo. But I feel like, I feel like Dante, like, the, the way you articulate and just, like, your speech pattern and your cadence when you're talking, like, if someone didn't know you very well and you made a trolling joke, they might think you're serious. Yeah. And I think that's why girls get upset. He might be like, no, I don't care about you. I don't even think about you. <laughs> you guys make it serious. I'm some kind of God. monster, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like some kind of monster. Just don't give a shit about nobody. Now, come on, man. I... I, there's certain things I, I figured in my mind. Maybe it doesn't come out that way, but like I'm just like, all right, okay, all right. You know what I mean, I just kind of just I can't yeah. keep. I, I don't want to keep stepping on landmines just talking to somebody. That's just I. This is too. I much. mean, but isn't that how it is nowadays? Everybody's so sensitive. Yeah, everybody. You know, what I'm saying anything you say it triggers something. Like, uh, uh. And instead of handling on their own, they just want to shove all that shit onto you. You know, and say yeah. it's your fault. It's, it's like, dude, like what handle that it? shit. You know. I, I agree, but also, like, when you're getting to know someone, you're learning their boundaries, you're learning their personality, you're learning their likes and dislikes, so that you're, true. like, it's natural to step on toes. It's oh, that's true. Very true. I think the real sign of, like, a healthy connection is can we work through it? Can we, like, progress through that, like, misunderstanding? Can we avoid entanglements? Can we just can we avoid entanglements? <laughs> I didn't even talk about Jada and Will yet. I didn't even get the chance no. to talk about that. I want to talk We're about that. We. Can we? Can we just take a <laughs> minute? Take a minute to just talk about Will and Jada real quick, because I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, I, just not found out, I just not found out. I just not found out August was a dude. I thought it was a female the whole time. Oh no, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this, style, I, this, this, this stuck up. I was, I was like, okay, all right, it's a dude. All right, like, I didn't even know who he was <laughs> until that happened. I was like, who the fuck is August? Oh, who is like, that? <laughs> so where is he? Who is so he? What, <laughs> what happened was, so August, he was pretty big, like a couple years ago, like three yeah. or four years ago. Like he was big. August's brother was murdered. I think one of the senators were murdered, and he adopted four of that person's daughters. Yeah. And so now he's busy almost all the time with his daughters, right? So he can't 
be in the public eye as much as possible. Who is he? Is he an artist? He was a Wait, singer. Yeah. Okay, sick. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. But it was like four years ago. He did a statue bitch. Like four years ago. Wait, 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 wait. He was in the most. He, he, he said four years. He said four years. They were talking. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, and they should mention, ago, oh, we had a yeah. falling out. So this what you know, we hated. We had to step away from each other. I saw the whole interview. I was like, yo. <laughs> he asked yeah, like, so like you had a, re- a relationship with this person you were in a relationship he's like entanglement yeah <laughs> and when she said when is. she said I haven't felt good in so long I was like oh fuck oh, yo, that, shit hurt. Hurt. that shit hurt yo. Well, that shit hurt I felt it I that was like hurt. ooh ooh Will Smith man you know how many people women love Will Smith how many women he can spool <laughs> come on and I feel and I feel bad because I feel like this is going to leave a lot of people, a lot of men jaded. No pun intended. I think a lot of men are going to be jaded after this this thing, because of this thing, where they're all like, well, now I really don't want to try and invest in a woman because we got that jaded will left. That's how that ended up. Uh, <laughs> you know? Hell, yeah. And you know, like, when you're on a break with somebody, you're probably occasionally hooking up, occasionally kind of doing stuff. Man, can you imagine, like, he's doing stuff with Jada, in the midst of the breakup, and she got this whole other thing, and you knew it was secret. Like, how are you supposed to work on the relationship with another relationship on the side? You yeah. feel me? That's what got me was, by, from what I've heard, it was really, really ugly, but they were still trying. And she was just like, I just want to feel good as a fucking young dude. I was like, oh. You know, I don't need four daughters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did uh, Jada and Will, they were like, we, were, we, won't, we don't believe in divorce. We don't yeah. believe that. We'll yeah. work through our... Yeah. So what happened? It was like, you know... And, and he was saying she's about ready to leave her. He was like, I was in pain. was like, well, I'm pretty sure he was in pain too, but he didn't run off with some young failure or anything like that. He so, didn't get caught. He didn't get caught. True. Or he didn't get caught. You don't know. That's um, true. Like, no. But, you know, it, it's crazy because, like, he said he was about to leave her. I was like, oh, shit, man. He's like, yeah, that was, that was it. Yeah, he, he, her, man. he said, he, I was through. I was through with you. I was through with you. Yeah, I was so, like, yo... <laughs> The Smiths are inspirational because they're unconventional, right? Like, they get to do this kind of shit. They're like, black marriages, we don't see, like, women openly admitting to their husbands that I cheated on you. Like, that doesn't happen. And I don't know, the reason why I think Jada is so radical is because, like, she was like, listen, I'm selfish, I want to be happy too, and so I sought out what made me happy. Like, No, don't try and switch up this narrative. Not, like, I'm she's not. empowered. She empowered herself. I I have to, have to move the neck. That's going to be the problem. All these girls are, all these girls who are in a rocky spot relationship uh-huh. going to start sucking some other dick and then be all like, Jada did it. Jada did it. <laughs> Okay, it was an entanglement. entanglement. It wasn't a big deal. It, it was an entanglement. I mean, this is, this is the precedent now. This is the precedent. This is exactly. Hold up. This is exactly the precedent now, where men aren't gonna be able to trust. I mean, men already didn't really trust women. Like, they really can't trust in the idealized relationship. Like, they've been of that supreme goal that you never could actually hit, but you're gonna keep on trying, and because of that, you always hit excellence, right? Like, they're just not going to try for that anymore. And now girls are we're somewhat wholesome or at least honest. They're like, yeah, no, I'm definitely going to go school fuck right on man now. Because Jada did it. Jada did it. Jada did it. So it's okay. The problem okay. is you're not going to get an August Alcina, though. Like, it's not going to, you know, you're not, not going to get one of him. So. I mean, have you seen his nudes, though? Oh, my God. Oh, I, I, know I haven't. And I don't plan oh, on I mean, it. I'm I, just saying, I might recommend. <laughs> Jada could pull that guy, but the girls who cheat on their mans are not pulling that guy. Facts. But at the end of the day, we're still looking for that dude who can meet our need where our husband or our partner is not. And I don't know, like, mm. men step outside their relationships mm. their marriages all the time. All the time. Trying to find something that's missing. So why is it such a bad thing when women do it? I didn't say one was better than the other. They're equally bad. Okay, teach yes. it. All right. Equally bad. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's it. Yeah, that's come on. It. Isn't the act of sleeping with someone else that's so bad about cheating? And my problem with cheating, my problem with cheating is you've led someone to believe you just wouldn't do this thing, and this is the most egregious breach of trust. That's my whole thing. I agree. Like, this is just that thing I agree. you really didn't expect you to do, and you did it. Yeah. 
Someone commented. You didn't have so, to do it the way you did it. Someone you could have done it a, lot, a better way, but you did it in a very deceitful way. So it's like it, it's like the worst, you know. So that it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Someone commented. Then why why get married? Someone said why get married? Then. You know that's yeah, a great question. I'm still trying to figure that out. That's an amazing. <laughs> Who asked that? Who asked that question? <laughs> he is a gold star, right? Violet. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Violet. Yeah. Gold star. I don't know. Why get married? <laughs> why should you? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's forty percent, right? Forty percent. They said. You know, I think it was a comedian who said if they said uh, you would die forty percent uh, bungee jumping, would you do it? You wouldn't. So why would people still rush into getting marriages? And you know, it all comes down to that conditioning. We're told we're supposed to do that shit. Yeah. You know, the, the happy life. You know, get a wife, a kids, and house, all that type of shit. So yeah. everybody's still trying to get through that conditioning, and they're starting to see now that it actually isn't working. Yeah. But I think there is some benefit to it. Like when you get older, right? You need someone who like to pass down property to, you or will take care of you when you're old, or like your 401k like if if you were to die like you know your money is going to your wife and your children right. like there's some like practical it's a practical thing it's not really for love in my opinion i think it's about like um it's it's a business really True. but it never really kind of follows that way like sometimes the kids don't want the house they'll just sell it or you That's know true. your spouse could die before you and That's you know true. kids could turn out like assholes and not give a shit Put you in a home, so it's like it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm almost tempted to do well, yeah, that for certain families. You can also slip on an ice cube and break your neck. You're not going in the kitchen. But <laughs> exactly. I'm the yeah. Everybody <laughs> always <laughs> goes <laughs> like you know positives of everything, but they never want to talk about the negatives, which happen the most. You know, okay. it's just like having children. And it's funny. You can look it up right now. I challenge everybody to look it up right now. There, there is a paper out there of psychologists. I think there's a few papers talking about how children are actually the reason for divorce most of the time. Like, oh, like a few no. minutes of time. And I'm sorry I had to drop that in there, but that is, is a, it's a big truth, man. So it's just like one of those things. It's it's just like the mind does not like to be hammered down subconsciously, right? So you're signing on a contract yeah, to tell yourself that you're locked in with this person. That's going to do something to your subconscious. Yeah. And little by little, you're going to try to get more and more free because you're hampered down through something else other than, than love. Like you're, you're letting the government actually hold you together. And it shouldn't be that way. So to me, marriage is, is kind of ridiculous, man. Would you agree to like renewing your marriage license like every like two years, like you do a driver's license? Like, okay, we got married, but five years from now or two years from now, I don't know if I really like this and you don't have to renew your marriage license, so to speak. Like, do you think that would be more of a choice? Yeah, like leasing a car? I think that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, low key, yeah. Yeah, you like that. Well, yeah, I, would, I, I could see that, but I wouldn't. I still would not want to do. Like I've been married before. I didn't like it as far as the the structure goes. But if I ever get married again, I just want to do the ceremony part. You know, the beautiful part about it, and we don't have to sign shit. You know, that's just between me and her. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. You save a lot of money that way too. <laughs> yeah, you do. If you're married to someone who's Daughter's a pastor, you're good. It's free. <laughs> I think for me, when it comes to when it comes to marriage, like one, I, I teeter on whether or not I'm going to get married. Am I going to get married? Am I not going to get married? Mm -hmm. I want to. Mm -hmm. I want to get married, but I'm just haven't decided if I'm going to or not, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, if if I do get married, like, I'll do it. I'm going to have assets, and there's going to be a, definitely a prenup and all that and stuff involved, which... Ladies think prenup is like, you don't give me anything. That's not how prenups work. So look it up. Women get prenup deals are almost easier than trying to go to court and sue them for stuff. So look that up. Oh, okay. And when you get a prenup, the man and the woman have their respective legal counsels. So you actually get your own lawyer who helps you do that. Oh, okay. not like it, Yeah. So no. And, and there's also postnups for men. Postnups is a thing. So you can get married and then get a postnuptial agreement and have stuff like that set up. Yeah. Wow! So it, it never happens because oh. women never agree to it. But you know, it, it's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of those things where if you have a lot of love, you have a lot of respect, and say you're, if you both have assets, right? Then a post not makes sense. Say you're poor, you turn into dating, and then you're married, you're still poor. Then all of a sudden, you make a lot of money. You're like, hey, look, what happens if we get divorced? You know, you put a lot of effort into your thing, but 
But let's go back to red flags. I feel like we yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I was like, that part. Um, I was going to talk about Will and Jada. We started getting a whole bunch of stuff. But it's okay. It's all right. This is what we do. <laughs> we talk about different topics. But the real topic is red flags. Okay. And then we'll jump into green flags, I guess. We kind of jumped a little bit on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We already asked some questions about the main, like, red flags. That's like the, that's it. Deal breaker, right? All right. All right. Now, physically, red flags and people. Cause you kind of talked about it a little bit, Red Pill, but like you talked about like oh, too much makeup, blah blah. blah. I want to hear anyone else. Things that can be changed in like fifteen minutes or less. <laughs> like those are all things I'm not really gonna complain about because it, it, it could change fifteen minutes or less. But I feel like when you get to like the physical stuff like that, like I don't know if it's a red flag or now I was talking about. Because because we go, I mean, you you can look on Tinder, you go to all these dating sites, we see some red flags when we look at people's <laughs> pictures. Okay. We're like, oh. Too many tats. Oh, she got problems. Like, we look at that. Okay, so we got to talk about that because that's the first thing we look at before anything, before you get to knowing the person. Right. Um, red flags. Oh, no. People. So, like, when you see her photos and all she got is guy friends. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they do that? <laughs> no. Why do they do they that? Wanna, they want to see, they want to be seen, like, as kind of like the guys because we'd be like, oh, no, I can but take the her fellas, to nah, I don't, don't want to see people. that. I don't want that. I want a girl. I don't want another dude. It's like, that's not attractive, women. That's not attractive. Just because you like to you want to do that shit. That's not attractive. We got homies for that shit. We need you for that shit. We need you for that shit. Damn. That's, that's facts. Hello. That's facts. Yeah. And I'm just going to assume if you don't get along with your own time, your social skills suck. Like, if, if you're a woman don't get along with any woman at all, I'm just going to assume you're probably the problem. Like, yeah, probably. most likely. Yeah, and you're the common denominator in every female relationship that didn't work out. That is true. So it's probably yeah, true. I agree. All right, uh, and so you're the only this, woman here, so. <laughs> okay, this is this is really petty, but it's like a hundred percent always will turn me off. If a guy is talking and he has dry lips, and then he gets like the saliva crusts at the edge of his mouth. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I just can't. A hundred percent every single time. Yeah, chappy it. lips, saliva <laughs> at the crust. <laughs> hey, you know what? I would, I would, uh, what if you got a condition? I've talked to girls who are really pretty, but then you look at their lips and it's dry as fuck. Like, they have yeah! Chaps. You're like, oh, chaps. can you just tap that off a little it bit? It's great. With or especially when they have, like, the. So, I when it comes to makeup, I like matte lipstick. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> but if I try to live, you were mad yesterday, you were not good shit. Like, this is not going to look good. It's going to look like the fucking Utah salt flats. You do not want that. Like, <laughs> you do not want that. Oh, man. And I appreciate makeup. Like, I'm not, I'm one of those where, yes, I want you to look good natural. That's how I'm going to see you the most. Yeah. But it's like, if you have makeup down to an art and it doesn't hold us up when we're going to go out, I want you to be in makeup. Like, I want, I love that. If you know how to accentuate your femininity, I want you to do there that, you right? Know. Right. Yeah. Now, if but... you just morph in your whole face, I don't want no. That's no no. You know? Like, so if girls were way too into the contour and shit, it's like, mm. girls are putting, like <laughs> your foundation don't look good. Nose, <laughs> You're slipping on that uh, foundation, right. girl. Red <laughs> flag for me, I don't, and you know, girls are gonna do what they want to do, and this is actually a red flag. I look past this all the time because I, I don't have a choice. Like, if I want to get laid, I gotta look past this. I don't like fake males. I hate fake males. Really? Hundred percent. I don't like. I do not like them. I don't understand them. I'm just like you can totally. I mean, I don't like them at all. I think it's a useless expense. You can totally just paint and put a sparkle on your own bitch. I don't get why you have to go pay a hundred dollars for plastic shits. But every girl loves fake nails, so I just don't say anything about it. It's like yeah. not the. I mean, fake nails. We just talk about like the long ones, like this long it kind of nails, like, like, with like, like Wolverine. Okay. <laughs> Hey, where do you go? The minute it starts growing out and you got a little, it's like a little pistachio show. I don't like that. Yeah, no. So, <laughs> yeah. so I gotta invite this dude think, again. But you want to have feminine hands, right? Like you don't want to like have hands that look like a man. If you but clean I, your you cuticles don't... and you moisturize your hands and you get rid of calluses and your hands are nice and soft and buttery, they're gonna be feminine. Okay, thank you. All right. Because Welcome some people, back. you know, they might have shorter hands, thicker wrists, thicker fingers. You might have the short thumbnail. I don't know. If your hands are clean and moisturized, <laughs> they're coming in enough. All right. Okay. Every, he said, Stephanie said, ha, 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 not every girl, boo. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> she said, 
I'm gonna put her on Another. a post episode. I swear, I swear. She's gonna come on. Just put her on this episode. It's not too late. You can invite this fool back. You can definitely invite he's, her. He's back on. I don't know. <laughs> he's in and out, man. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Everybody froze and then it just went black. Oh, did it? Okay. I don't blame myself yeah. on you. <laughs> damn, damn. I mean, that's it's a tough one, man. I don't know what I look. You guys are picky as hell. I know that. You know, fellas in here. You know, you guys have certain things that you guys look at. <laughs> I've seen it. So oh, that's right. We were all hanging out and we were <laughs> just looking through and like, kind of like, really sharing. Like, so what are you into? Like, what kind of girls you been talking to? What kind of girls you been you liking or, or smoozing with and stuff? It was like, yeah. There was like the, the disparity was like hilarious. Like, just how specific we were. Because all the girls we like almost all look the same. Like the ones I like are all very similar. The ones on like all very similar. <laughs> it was crazy how specific. Like, <laughs> You're not supposed to talk about that, man. Of, hey, rule, rule, a lot rule of swiping left. A lot of swiping left. <laughs> yeah, y'all motherfuckers oh, yeah. are swiping left. So I got so comments I heard. Someone said, uh, "So basically, basic man and panty, mani panty." Okay, definitely first to hear a guy just like uh, <laughs> those type of nails, right? Someone said, uh, most guys love them nails because they imagine them are wrapped around their, you know, eggplant. It's just, I was thinking that the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's new to me. I hear dudes say nails look so sexy, not just too long. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not really a fan of the sharp ones. The ones that like claws. Like bullshit to me. It's kind of weird. That's not like some bullshit a guy would say to me. I, I know, like right? Uh, I do like, <laughs> I do like, like a fuck about your nail. <laughs> so, it's like, oh, it's too long. <laughs> Oops. I uh, love that coffin shade with a little sparkle on the accent pink. I love that. Like, no, <laughs> we don't care. We don't care. We didn't even notice. <laughs> you noticed. <laughs> you the next noticed. time they type, click, 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 click. It's like, oh, okay. Now we know. <laughs> yeah, I like long nails just because, like, when you're having sex and you like scratch a dude and you just like laid into his back. Okay. It's good. What I look, what I look on when I'm either going on Tinder, or whatever case may be, right? I think for me, certain women can rock certain kind of hairstyles, and some can't. Um, I seen it, and I'm just like. <sighs> It doesn't work. But that's not a red flag, fool. That's a prep. I'm not done. I'm not done explaining it. <laughs> I think like how you think. I'm just like. But I think like how you think, as far as like tattoos, they have issues. Some kind of way where they get see girl all tatted up. I think of that same shit. Like, oh man, she must got some, 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 some past, some history that's happened in her life, and some, some extra baggage I gotta worry about. And I, I think about that too. I'm just like, yo, all right. uh... Like, you should go through, like, a, you know, is it style or is it something that they just decided to do? So, I, I, I question it too much. But the tattoo thing kind of gets me, too, because I'm thinking, like, oh, man, damn. She got this tear tattoo on her face. Like, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> but shit. She might, she might, she might take my money. <laughs> so, you know, it, 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 it's just a style, but I keep forgetting that that's a style. That's, you know, a style, you know. But when you got that kind of shit tatted on your face, I, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to kind of. I don't, yeah, uh, I, I don't see that as attractive to me. That's kind of. And sure, are you on Tinder? No. Are you on Bumble? No, I need to get back on. <laughs> so when you were on, if you were ever on those things, what was like the red flags you saw on a dude's profile? <laughs> I didn't like when he took hella pictures with women, and then he was like, "Oh, she's just my sister." Like, don't even post that <laughs> like I don't like that. Um, I hate when like you can't really tell which one is the dude. And then, like, like in a picture full of dudes, and there's one really attractive dude, and you hope it's him, and it turns out it's, it's not. not. <laughs> Never him. That's happened. Yeah. That's happened a few times with people. <laughs> like, oh, oh, where's your friend? Oh shit! We were uh, we were talking about that that the other night about how there's always like three or four girls just like please be them, please be them, please be them. And yeah, then you get yeah, the yeah. Last fucking photo, and it's the worst one. It's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, I hella hate when like dudes flat, like show off their cars. And not, someone just like, posted a comment that. <laughs> someone just commented <laughs> that. What goes? Really? I hate when they try to flash me with, with cars, money, jewelry, etc. In their pictures. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's just like like cut off, like just body. Pics. You know that ain't their car. Sometimes it ain't even their car. It's someone else's car. <laughs> those are those are red flags. Oh man, and, that's um, funny. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I was going to get into some of the comments that some people said on the... Uh, I'm going to go into it because I know someone wanted to talk about it. 
They talk about their red flags. I'm not sure it resonated with any of you guys. Um, so, so someone said red flags is, is uh, guys who get mad at jokes that could insinuating that they're feminine, fragile masculine. Ah! Uh, is so he real quick, like quick pause, quick pause, quick pause. How do you handle that? If you're a guy, and sometimes it's gonna bother you, sometimes it's not, right? The ideal is don't ever let it bother you, but there might come a time where it does. How do you maintain frame, or how do you maintain you're the alpha, or you're messing in her eyes? Agree and amplify. That is all you have to do, or just ignore it. There's two things you can do in that situation. So if she goes, oh, your hands are real soft, that's kind of girly. You just gotta go, oh, I know. And then just let it go. That's uh-huh. it. Just agree yeah. and amplify and let it go. Or you just go, hmm, what's for lunch? <laughs> just like, just, just like you didn't like that Vaseline, girl. It's a good yeah. shit. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Tell them what. So, yeah. like, if a girl called you feminine and she's trying to insult you, the best thing to do is tell her she needs to get on your level. Yeah. I say, <laughs> the best thing to do. Because you have real soft. They're real, kind of girly. Like, I wish yours were like this. <laughs> no, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> That's it. Go. God damn. And I guess she she said uh, ask hella questions when I want to go out, which Kylie and Shirley said, asking hella questions, getting up in your shit. Um, don't get along with my friends and lie to their mama. Lie to their mama. Lie to their mama though. Mama. Yeah. So those are. I mean, I, those are those are. I mean, it's, it's the fragile masculinity. I guess I, I can see where it's yeah. coming from. But but the the getting along with the friends thing though, you have to understand that. Girls will be jealous. So if you're, and I think this happens to me more often, maybe you guys, because my personality is more out there and I initiate a lot more conversations with people. And I'll, I'll play the room, and talk to everybody. But yeah, like I've had a lot of times where I've met a girl's group of friends for the first time and they didn't really like me. Or they give me initial resistance because they all want to play Mother Goose, either because they're jealous that she brought this really nice dude over and all of them are like in horrible relationships and they don't want her to be happy. Or they want to get with me, or you know, some girls do get jealous and will sabotage that. And when that happens, same thing. You've got to learn how to maintain frame. Let them know, like, I'm physically in your space, but I own the space around me. So you bring any bullshit my way, I'm gonna take care of you. Like, that's oh, just, that's it. Like you just when you're somewhere new, you just gotta own your immediate space. And girls will recognize that. They'll mm-hmm. just know. They'll say some shit and you just go, oh okay. And they change the topic, they'll know. You know, they're up on that. Um. Uh, someone mentioned a comment on there saying that for, it's for the ladies. Is cross dressing a potential deal breaker slash red flag for y'all? It's for the I guess Aunt Shirley's the only woman here. I mean, you get some comments from the girls on here. But <laughs> apparently, it's you Aunt Shirley, you the only one to hold it down. My bad. <laughs> Don't mess up. <laughs> uh, we were just talking about crop tops, so I mean, it's that kind of cross dressing. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why guys might think it's like a thing that shows how masculine and how. Is it okay or is it not okay to show? Ah, man. Is he brush away? Uh, Is is he yes or no? (laughs) No. Hell no. (laughs) And I have terrible stories, too. We don't have to get into that. Oh, damn. Fuck no. (laughs) Fuck no. the buzzword. That's the first question I'm asking. <laughs> she didn't say buzzword, did she? So yeah, if she does, I'll be like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, she didn't say, I didn't, I didn't hear it. Right. Cause she says that on board a lot. <laughs> I know. Who said that? So while we're on topic, for everybody listening, quick question: crop tops on men, yes or no? Bringing nah, it back. Eighties. I was saying the eighties is the only time you can wear one. What if you're hella swollen? Like if you're just hella swollen, jacked. Like, what about that? <laughs> nah. Nah, no, that ain't gonna do it for me. Uh, it look like you don't fit that shirt. <laughs> Right. Like I'll admit they look super sus and any dude wearing them looks very, very feminine, right? <laughs> but it's like they look comfortable as fuck, I can't lie. This guy. <laughs> they this really guy. just do. You like that fuzzy cotton, it's like oversized, but it's not hung on you, like stops like right here. They do look comfortable as shit. I can't uh, lie. I don't know, bro. I don't know if I can, I can <laughs> jump on saying. that. I can hope I can co sign for that, man. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> I don't care how swole you are. That, that looks like that shirt don't even fit you if you're hella swole. Like, it's just like, yo, this, did you just outgrow that shirt? You just don't wear it? <laughs> this, this is my daughter's shirt. Like, <laughs> I have trouble taking it off. Like, how do you take it off? How do you take that thing off? <laughs> well, you just wear it for a couple days until it stretches out and then take it off. She said. Like, put on the clothes over it. So another girl said she's she straight up the cross-dressing, too. 
So you're not the only one, Aunt Shirley. I didn't think I would be. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's something girls would say, like, oh, my God, guys should embrace your feminine. I feel like that's the thing where girls would promote guys who cross-dress but never date them. <laughs> so I'm like, girls would go, that. like, no, guys should embrace business. There's nothing gay about cross-dressing. But they would never get a cross-dresser. <laughs> Right, I would never want my man to be in my shit. Ever. Like, <laughs> okay, babe, I can I wear this? Say, man, yeah, <laughs> I don't know when you would date one that would, you know. What I mean? this, so, this is a good shirt. I want to wear this. Like, I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, that so we'll get into the green flags. Right. So, green flags. <laughs> it seems like we all can agree. I mean, not all. Physically, <laughs> you see, I don't know. I. Everyone has different ways of going about it. So I'll start with the physical aspect. They would kind of work our way down of green flags, or what you like to see in someone. So we'll start with Aunt Shirley first. I'm curious because she's the only woman here, so it's, we're gonna pick on her now. <laughs> she can hold it down. She can handle it. What's a green I, flag to you? Physical green flag. Yeah. Yeah. Beard. I'm so basic. <laughs> I was just thought, thought just a little. <laughs> so, I was like, right now, he's like, what? Beard? He finally grew his out. It's great, by the way. You well done. Well. Thanks, man. Oh, this is quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and someone I know, super basic. Someone who's tall and someone who has like a a good sense of style. Like he doesn't have to be handsome. If he can like walk into a room and like I I just like my eyes fall on him like. That's really attractive. I think a man with a sense of aesthetic is like 10 out of 10. Um, and if he smells good too, but not like overpowering, like. Cologne. What's your favorite cologne? cologne? Um, Axe Body Spray. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm good for about six hours. <laughs> Shower of it. I okay, like we're it. About, not even six, like, probably three. It matches away from me. I'm very flammable. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not. I don't have a favorite cologne, but uh, I like the smell of like a clean man, like Old Spice. Does that make sense? <laughs> so yeah. the commercials like, really get work, huh? <laughs> that, that shit works on me. That shit worked on me for sure. But yeah, that's that's my answer. What okay. are the comments saying? Uh, there's a lot. There's a few comments. One girl said yes, beard. Um, exactly. My man with his fur baby, I guess dog. For uh, I'll say cat dad right here. <laughs> I don't post pictures of him. I can call myself a cat dad and never show my cat. Someone but. said amazing tat art. Wouldn't yeah. be me. Sorry. Like I a tat. Right? Like, a no. fucking, like a fucking uh, bald eagle on your fucking chest. Yeah. <laughs> I always get compliments on my arms. Guy, yeah, yeah. I, I was just about to say that, like, arms are a big deal, or someone who has, like, a strong build. Very sick. This guy's been working out, man. I see you, man. <laughs> well, I mean, about... I was talking about tattoos on my arms, but the muscles, too. So. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> someone said, yes, height. Um, I got a lot of comments here. Hold on. Sitting, nice smile. Uh, definitely. Like the Physical green flag is tall, nice smile, and bonus. Seems like every girl likes tall guys. I wonder uh, why. <laughs> big hands, big arms. How guys be growing their shit out during quarantine. Fuck, Hubert. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else said they agree with the beard on Facebook. Yeah, a lot of girls like beards and just tall dudes. I guess. It's really that easy. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> she said, yes, that, that booty. Some girl said booty. <laughs> How you gonna see the butt through a, a camera, a, a photo? I, don't know, I, mean, I guess if you see him in person, <laughs> most guys are gonna go like this, taking pictures. <laughs> I mean, if they are, I don't, I don't know what it is on the other end of the spectrum, but I, I, I don't see a lot of guys doing that. <laughs> um, okay, we we'll start with the dudes now, the fellas. Start with uh. It's pretty interesting because you guys have very different tastes. Yeah, they do. Yeah, well, yeah, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want to know what my biggest green flag is? Yes! And this is actually, like, intangible, and this is the exact reason why I had such a hard time dating. And it's the Sagittarius in me, it's, you know, it's me being really extroverted and just always on to the next shiny object, but it's like, if you don't ever make me nervous, 
It's never going to work. Really? I am just a very, 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 I don't know if you guys knew this, a very self-assured person. I don't know if this is brand news to you guys. I'm just figuring this out. I'm very self-assured. And whenever I'm like in a bad mood, I'm very good at picking myself up very fast. Okay. And it's like, I like to have a girl who makes me nervous, who makes me go, oh, shit, like, I don't know. Physical. Physical, though. We're asking physical. Yeah, but that's the one they wanted to hear. Anyways. (laughs) Physical. (laughs) Physical. Height. Okay, all right. (laughs) Tall girls are the wave. So if you're out here and you're over 5'9", I am the Mark L. Grady on Instagram. <laughs> like, it is my dream to have some, like, six foot at two, tall, slim, Eastern Eurasian girl. <laughs> that's what your dream, man. That's what that's I have some name I can't pronounce, which is an accent I can't understand. This is. Stephanie she, said, she, damn she, it. She got to learn how to cook. Honestly, I will learn for her. You, you, had you, had your, to you had your fan here that said, damn it. LOL. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, Stephanie. <It's... laughs> he has this type. All right, uh, Alpha Mark, what you got? Physical. I know your ass is picky as fuck, so I want to hear. <laughs> uh, I mean, like I said, they just be feminine, hygiene, take care of the nails, take care of their bodies. Uh, kind of like match me. You know, I don't go out the house unless I'm looking presentable. That's the way I was raised. I want the same type of female. I want somebody who cares about their health, um, their <laughs> exterior as well as their interior. But as far as like I'm looking directly at you, um, yeah, I, I love beauty, man. I'm a tourist. I'm an artist. So I try to have beauty all around me with my art pieces, and so that's what I look for. Something I have to be one. Always attract you. Basically, yeah, you know, I, I do like to draw my girlfriends and stuff and uh, paint them sometimes, but I definitely want somebody that I can continue to be attracted to. So the answer really wasn't sure if you meant painting their bodies or painting them on pictures. I was thinking the same like, thing. I was like, someone got it. <laughs> yeah, I've done uh, both? You know, on a entire body before, so that was fun. Wait, I didn't hear that. I was laughing. Oh, I said, I said, I've done hit on an entire body of uh, an ex-girlfriend before. Oh, man. Oh. Someone oh. commented, one advantage of being sure is that there's a low-hanging branch. We don't have to duck down when we walk under it. I love that. <laughs> I would never know what that's like. All right. <laughs> I will never understand that's, that, that, that benefit. I know, right? We hit hella branches. Um, so, off of my, so you, that was like a big one, right? That's like a big physical one for you, right? Yeah. Alright. I understand. Makes sense. Do you prefer girls who are like conventionally beautiful or do you prefer girls who have like unique facial features and stuff? Uh, Kind of both, to be honest. I mean, because with conventional beauty, you can always create more, if that makes sense. Like, you can always uh, insinuate different things about it. And then with um, exotic beauty, that's just like one of a kind. And uh, like I was talking, uh, I just had uh, lunch with one of my cousins. Um, she's a very pretty uh, black girl, and we were talking about that. And I told her every time I date outside of my ethnicity, which is pretty much anything since I'm multiracial, I always go for the top tier. I always go for the girl that that ethnicity. It's hard for them to get just because that's what I think you should go for. You know, what I'm saying so, I'm trying to get your bottom feeder. I'm gonna do that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna date a white girl. I'm gonna get one that most white dudes can't get. You know, right. that, with every, every ethnicity, so. I love it. Okay. That's what's up. I respect it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's good to hear your guys'. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> oh, I mean, you guys already know. I like curvy-sized women. Like, that's physical boom. They always, <laughs> they know. Y'all know. Like, that's, that's what I go yeah, for. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Oh, I mean, everyone knows. Look out for you. That's not even a. That's not even. A, you know, that's it. I'm very civil. Like, all right, okay, cool. She got curves. All right, cool. All right, we we working with something. Uh, someone said, "Wow." <laughs> oh, <laughs> Shannon. All right, so we got like maybe about eight or nine minutes left. Um, we can get into the. I know. I know. All right, everyone. What's your red flag? What are your personal red flags? People need to watch out with a baby. What is it? 
Oh, we're going to get into that? We're not going to do green flags? Or... Or our own red flag? I don't know. Uh, well, hold on. I want to hear Dante try and guess Alpha Month's red flags. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 are, we talking, are we talking physical or are we talking... Yeah, man. Nah, <laughs> uh, like, so if a girl so, sees Mondre, she's going to think, oh, no. What's that? Oh, what's, the, what's the following? Oh, every. I mean, what are we? I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> oh man, I'm confident enough. You're not gonna hurt my feelings, bro. Go ahead. Uh, if a girl's walking, <laughs> apparently girls like height. <laughs> they go physically look. Oh, oh, he's short. Yeah. Apparently, you know, <laughs> that, I got over that shit in sixth grade, brother. I'm but cool. but it's not even like a. I guess it's a red flag, but it, it, it may could be. Yeah, that's a red flag. I can't. I already go live. And based on what the comments we heard. <laughs> but, yo, you're still winning. So, I mean, don't matter. Well, that's what's funny is because girls, I've heard girls say that they want a tall dude, but they still chose me anyway. So, that's just, that's what's, that's the thing about women is, like, they say one thing or how they feel in that moment. But if you change that moment and change that feeling, then there you go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I really just I've heard, show, like, I've heard light-skinned girls enough. say, what up? I heard light-skinned girls say they only like light skinned dudes and then they end up with a super dark skinned dude. You know Damn. what I'm saying? You hear that all the time, you know what I'm saying? Or like I like really buff guys and then you see her six months later and she got some doughboy with her. But then you ask him, like, oh well he was this way or he treated me this way or this happened or this happened. So he had a lot you of money. take a girl on her <laughs> word and traits or what she's looking for. Never take her word on that. Yeah. She really goes off of how she feels in the moment and how you make her feel. Yeah. I, I, I like to see shorter dudes winning and pulling taller girls. Cause my dad is short as fuck. My mom's really tall. I've done that, but it's kind of awkward, and it's more awkward for her. She starts to feel more uh, insecure, and I've had tall girls that I've dated, and they start slouching a little more and more, and shit. It's just, <laughs> it's not cool it's like, does that hurt? You know? <laughs> oh, I'm cool sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm tall enough. I'm taller than most women. I'm 5'8", so most women That's that I date tall. anyway are like 5'4", five, 5'6", five, so it's not that bad. That's actually not that bad. That's a, yeah, that's actually yeah, not bad. Not. Yeah, that's not bad. If you let you dead in some girls like 5'11, 5'10, but it's not that bad. Actually, I thought it was. There's some fire ones that are 5'11 and, and, and above, but I still wouldn't take them, though. They, they kind of remind me of men, so. <laughs> well, apparently, I, uh, Red Bull likes, you know, taller women, so I mean, you know. So well, he likes crop tops, too, so. You know. <laughs> I do date shorter, right? I do date shorter than 5'9. I just. I feel like tall girls need some love, too. I hear, they do, man. I hear your they do. They I do. They do. They do. They out there front, man. They want men too. <laughs> so red flag, a guy who can't emo- communicate emotion. Someone said that. Yeah. Um, I see that being a deal. Um, a someone commented before I got married. I dated nothing but short guys or guys my height. Then I married my dude who's like my first tall guy. Okay. Well, she married him. Like, tall guys. All right. And then. Uh, Markel, what do you think <laughs> Ann Sherman's red flag would be? Oh. If a dude's walking up to an approach you. Sorry. <laughs> Man, I don't think... I think the biggest... And it's not necessarily a red flag, but he's definitely going to be surprised. I don't think Aunt Shirley's going to play shy. She's not going to play coy. She's not going to act like she don't know what's happening. So a dude will walk up and go like, you know, it's popping. You look good. You know. It's popping. <laughs> you know, I tell you it's in that shade, butter. You're nice and smooth. Like, what's going on? And she's going to be like, oh, you noticed that? What's up with you? He's gonna be like, oh, whoa! <laughs> like, <you> know, <laughs> Tone it down. She, she gonna she gonna flip the whole script. She goes, oh, "Now I'm gonna hit on you. I'm gonna run me on you now." I think that's gonna be a big red flag. Is he's gonna be nervous? And she's not gonna question his masculinity. He will question it himself. She's not gonna. I, I thought I, I thought it was me. I was talking. <laughs> I thought it was me that was pulling her. She's pulling me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She went back. Take a seat. And she gonna make him sit down. And like, yes. <laughs> that's gonna be it. And it's just, I think. I think because Aunt Shirley's not shy and Aunt Shirley loves to experience things, I think she may come off as too eager for some guys. That might be come out. Yeah. Yeah. That's valid as fun. Yeah. <laughs> sit yeah. down. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I guess I'll just sit here. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll so, guess. Would you, wait, can I ask a follow up question? Yeah. Yep. So, are Make you saying um, that's a good thing or. It's a red flag. Nah, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's yeah. a good thing for you, but he's not going to like it. It's kind of like girls being smart. It's great that girls are smart, but guys don't always like that. No. I see. Got so, it benefits you, but just. There's, 
I hate saying this, but it's like, just tone it down. Just for a little bit. Eventually, you can be there. She's not going to tone it down. Like, uh, she's not going to tone it down. I'm shy when I first meet somebody. I'm no. shy when I first meet You should just play it off. You only have to do that for like two dates, and then you can do your stuff. No. I'll give you some, uh, I'll give you <laughs> only black woman's advice. My great uh, aunt told me once, she said, you, a man never wants, like, basically like a wolf will never eat a dead deer. He wants to hunt a deer. So you don't always want to present yourself as ready are like you're more eager than they are basically you want them to kind of hunt you and chase you yeah oh okay so if you look aggressive if you seem aggressive a lot of guys are gonna get scared of that because a lot of boobs are just like you know they want to have the upper hand when they're you know they're cold approaching or they're trying to talk to you so they can get, they don't get that upper hand you know they're going to intimidate them all right so it's so- not like a red flag or a bad flag like you said it's not really bad for you but yeah. I just won't feel that shit. All right, so we got three minutes left, man. So let's get into uh, Red Pill. What can, we, what can we guess this red, this red flag could be? We could all do it. <laughs> That's the dude who likes crop tops. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I feel oh, like no. you would outdress a girl, and she would just be like, fuck. <laughs> I feel like that would be something like a red flag. It's like, he's outdressing me. I don't, I don't you know. Mm-hmm. She's... <laughs> I thought that's me. Cause you you dress very Sorry, well. I totally missed that. What you saying? So you're grooming very well, and you uh, you dress well. I think that might like red flag certain girls. They might think you you know might be the other way. <laughs> I was I saying. Him, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I think. All right, we'll just go on to mine then, because we got two minutes left. <laughs> I would think you were just like underage. Oh, like like, I get that a lot. Like, yeah, underage, yeah. No, like, I'm one of those where, like, I just shoot my shot. Just, you know, if I think you're cute. And there's been times where I've talked to girls and they were, like, very six. And they were like, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's this boy talking on to? On Tinder, when I am on Tinder, it goes from my age all the way to 55 plus. So you never know. Right? All right. Like, <laughs> so we, we got one minute. I'm going to end it here. We'll go into the post episode. I know. It's okay. So, guys, got over so quick. I know. I know. I hate to cut y'all off, but we'll we'll get in more of the questions on the post episode. We'll probably add some people in if anyone wants to come on, send me a DM or send me a message, make it more interesting with more people on here. So like get your guys' uh, emails. More women. Yeah, right, more women. So Facebook and everything like that is going to be on there. Just send me a DM. I'll start in probably by like five, six minutes or so. Maybe, maybe less. All right. But I'll re-invite you guys. But thank you guys for tuning in. I thank you guys for going on the live stream. I appreciate you guys coming on the comments. Um, Till next week. We'll come in some more episodes and put it on the Instagram. But yeah, other than that, enjoy you guys the rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in on Wide Day Podcast, guys. Boom. Peace. All right. Deuces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, friends. This is Dante from the Wide Day Podcast. Thank you for tuning in onto our episode. And just wanted to give you guys some updates. I know I usually do this at the end of my episodes. I'm um, doing a little update. Um, so we do still have a uh, Patreon website. I've been putting exclusive content on there. I haven't put any dating coaches or advice or anything like that yet. I'm still working on that. But if you still want to donate to the Patreon, it's still on there on the Why Date Podcast website. But for right now, all I'm doing right now is Venmo. Um, I'll put the link onto this uh, episode on my um, on YouTube episode. Hope you guys, like I said, like the episode. But I'm putting everything on there. Uh, currently, I am still working on advice, dating coach. I want to have a community where we're having someone giving advice, having some experts on there that's helping people through dating. So I know we typically talk about a lot of funny stuff on our episodes, but I also want to provide some kind of service to everyone who's listening. So let's get their money's worth for something. It's $5. I'm definitely not going to raise the price because I haven't done much with my Patreon. But I still have a Venmo on there. It's going to be on there. But I will put the link down here. You can kind of see it. And just so you guys know, I appreciate you guys joining in and tuning into our episode thus far, listening to all our stuff. But uh, yeah, that is it for it, guys. Um, I will post more things on my Patreon. I'll, like I said, I'll still put the exclusive content, the post episode on there the audio form i can't really put the video on there for some strange reason patreon won't really do it it's too big of a file but that's what i want to have on there guys and that is it that's all i have to say but uh please subscribe too as well on the youtube uh, channel if you guys haven't done so already but 
that is it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and have enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>